Hi, this is Megan Fairchild again. I'm so glad you're joining me for another class. I hope you guys weren't too sore. Um, I'm finding myself that it is necessary to get up every day and move, even if it's not ballet, just to help me maintain my posture and maintain, you know, the, the health of all of my joints. Um, it's so easy to just kind of get in this horrible potato chip position. So here we are. Good for all of you for coming and doing this class, and I hope you enjoy. Let's start with plies. Um, just whatever you want. Um, two demis, one grand, uh, four de bras, whatever you need. It's just very simple, and we'll balance and susu at the end. Just a little food for thought, just for the simple parts of plies. Feel the sensitivity of your feet on the floor and use that to inform how you can pull up and be lifted in your stomach and your hips. Okay, so be really sensitive with your feet and feel that you're, you're pushing down into the ground and lifting up off of that.
Okay, I hurt my neck a little bit doing too many puzzles, um, so I can't afford a bra back. Uh, but um, for me, in uh, plies, I really like to turn in and stretch my hamstrings because I feel like then my hips are really moving properly in, in their sockets that I had a moment of turning in and stretching it all out. We're going to go from first, front, side, front, side, front, three, two, this side. It'll be slower than this. Back and side and back and side and back. Three to the side. Plie to the front, two side. Plie to the side, two back. Plie to the back, two side. And then let's uh, rise and balance in first, okay? So front, side, front, side, front, side, side, side. Repeat to the back. One plie, then new, new change to the side, two first. One plie side, two to the back, all the way around. Good. Really feel every time that you come in, especially from the side, that it doesn't just come in around it, that you've sliced in and brought that heel forward, okay? So we're having that perfect turnout and that effort of pulling it in this way instead of that way, it's going to pull all of this together where it needs to be, okay? This is all coming together. Other side. Okay, we're going to go from fifth. Four front, four side, four back, tendu front plie, and two side change. Um, wait, what is that? Tendu front plie, two side. Oh, and then again with plie. Okay, so we're going one and two and three and four. Side and two and three. And four. No change that first one to the side. And back. And two. And three. And four. Plie. Front and side leg. Two. Change. Side. Repeat from the back. Then one, two, three. Plie. Uh, no change. Two, three. Plie. Back. Two, three. Plie. Straight front. Plie. Four. Plie. No 
change. Plie, forward front. Plie, straight. And two change. We're still work using that supporting side turnout as we did for the last class. This time, um, I really want you to think about, <laughs> I forgot already. Oh, when you do with plie. That just because I'm going to come to plie doesn't mean I release all of the effort. It's like you almost have to think like you're going to straight and then you plie so that that inner thigh stays kicked off. Otherwise, you lose it. So it's like, I imagine I'm resisting if that hand was there and then I plie. It happens quickly. And personally, I don't do it perfect every time, but if you have that thought in your head, you're gonna be using that plie in the right way where it's kicking our inner thighs on. Okay. Other side. that idea for the plie and coming in from a tombu like that kicks your legs on a little better. I should give credit where credit is due. That was a Merrill Ashley correction I've never forgotten. Okay, we're gonna do, um, oh this is a little développé enveloppé tendu sandwich. So we go, and in développé tendu enveloppé tendu. Out close front, I think, and développé, enveloppé, tendu, to the back, enveloppé, tendu, oh, back, side, front, plie, side, and in. Little sandwich of that. Back, side, front, and then we're going to do tendu, front, side, back, plie, and in. Let's do passe balance inside leg for eight, and then then susu passe balance outside leg for eight. Okay.
quick footwork, yeah? So it's all about coming in cleanly, presenting and doing that icky moment more clean, yeah? So we don't want to let the foot drag in, turn in. But I'm constantly pulling it back to fifth with those toes working back, yeah? So every time we bend our knee in a tendu combination on the working leg, it's a moment for everyone else to see, are you turning out, yeah? And it's a moment for you to check in and test yourself, oh, how turned out was I? How, how open really is my knee? Was it really forward? Or was it nice and side as I present my heel forward, okay? So that's kind of the challenge here. And also for me to just remember the combination. Okay, other side. I don't hold myself as well. So much for workout clothes. Okay. We're going to go round de jambe, round to the back, two degages inside leg. Round de jambe around, two degages inside leg. Plie side tongue, du passe, su su. Wait, is that what it was? Plie side tongue, du su su. Oh, two times. That's what it was. Plie, su, su, plie, and in. One, two, let's just do four. So we did it. Round and in, two degage inside. Round and in, two degage inside. Plie, su, su, plie, su, su, let's do that. Plie, land and up, and no change, change. So just two to the side. Okay? Nice long feeling of as we round the jump around, that our hips are staying right where they need to be. We don't let them move around, but we have to reach out the leg. It's a very gyrotonic concept, yeah? Reaching, but maintaining that hip in the socket, okay? great. Really make sure every time that you're tondoing side that you're making that most perfect turnout. I said it already, but it's so easy to let that happen. We've done all this work to get to fifth. Keep the idea of fifth in your tondu side. So this is all still turned on. My heels presenting forward never gets to release as I plie tondu side. Staying true to its original intent. Okay, 
Um, when we do on releve the second time, instead of coming down right away and doing too slow, you can stay up and go one, two, three, and then land. Next, we're going to go three degrees front quick. One, two, three. Inside back. One, two, three. Um, one, two, three. Okay. Sorry. Totally losing my brain in self isolation. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Push front. Back, in, front, side, da, 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 in, back, side, changing every time, back, front, back, in, front, side, front, back, front, and hold. Let's hold on releve in front, degage. This is number seven. you weren't watching me and stuff. Um, I'll quickly touch on the concept of crossing front and back because if you're doing en cloche, you are having to encounter it, yeah? And it would be really easy to just stay out here, yeah? But that's not crossing right in front of my nose or right behind my head. And that's how we want to get really streamlined and from the audience look taller and to be on our toes. 10,000 reasons why you want to cross right in front of your nose. Um, the way I think about it is if I'm front and I've turned out my hip and I've turned out this shoulder and I'm really over these toes, 
then it's really easy to stay over here and find the cross again. If my weight's in my heel, it's really hard to cross. So number one, be over the toes. And number two, that opening feeling of that supporting side is what stabilizes you through all of it, okay? Um, we're gonna do, should listen to the music so I don't mess this up. Okay. Ballonet and in dégagé. One, two, one, two, three. Or if you want to just do two slow, that's fine too. And a one, and in. One, two, three. And plié, out, in. One, two, three. Passé, inside, roll away. Six, su, su, and down. And ballonet, and in. That's all flat. One, two, three, and ballonet. And close, back, front, back, front. Ballonet, and in. Front, 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 and passe balance, inside leg. Yeah, so when we do that inside leg, it can cue your brain to kick on that standing leg since we switched sides, yeah? Sometimes when we work all one side, it's almost impossible to keep this wrapped back, yeah? So if I switch legs and then go here, I really have to kick all these muscles in, all these stabilizing muscles in my back and my supporting side on that, on the side that you're standing on. Okay, ballonet with dégagé. moment is another turnout check. Yeah, every time we bend our knees, are they going side? Yeah, then keep it when you straighten. Okay, and now another reminder from that last class, every time we're closing to fifth is an opportunity to grow taller. Okay, so we don't get smaller or get collapse in our hips, but we're kind of rising through it every time we close. PK. Okay. We're going to go two to the front, PK, two to the side, two to the back, and front, and back, and back, and side, and front, cross, cross, and cross, and again, side, back, cross, cross, railway balance, six, seven, close, fifth. Up and up and up and up and up and up, cross and cross, up and up, up and up, up and up, cross and cross, back, side, front, cross. 
arms, cross thighs to balance, square those hips off. You can think of this like a rectangle that has to be, you know, these are two parallel lines, we're gonna do geometry, and two parallel lines, yeah? So if I'm like this, I'm not square. That's what we mean when we say square. It's a rectangle, I know, but that this and this, two point, four points are in the same plane. Little geometry lesson. Anytime we have a moment of a revelation in our bar, we kind of, the combination lifts us up. Don't ever fall then below that. So if something cued your body to be like, oh, to do this, I really need to be up here, stay there for all the rest of the combinations. That's why bar is really great because you can slowly get even more and more fine-tuned to that place of balance over the course of the combinations. Other side. Arms. We're going to go two slow, one and two, twice double and two. Ronde de jambe on layer five, six to the back, seven and eight. Plie front, passe, plie side, 90 degrees, passe, plie back, passe, fold and down and around and two, little double, little double. Feel the length of that inner thigh as you come around. Heel comes up, seven and eight. Plie back, passe, plie side, passe, plie front, passe. Find a balance, stretch, do whatever you want, okay? Here we go. This is one of my favorite songs.
and tiny stretch. Stretch out your hips, stretch out your hamstrings. Okay. Other side. Okay, trying not to touch my face. Um, one quick thing I want to mention. Another, probably Merrill Ashley concept that's stuck in my brain. When you're coming into passing from the back especially, don't waste any time before you turn out. Go right from the beginning. That heel is starting to come forward from the moment that you start out from arabesque just so that the initiation of all of your movement is pure. Yeah, it's not fudged at the end to make it look good. It's really in there and it's really strong from the get-go. Okay. Oh, this is frappe. We're gonna go one, two, three, brush back and back, two, three, brush front and side, two, three, double wrong, double wrong. Let's check the music. Can modify this if that feels too fast for you, and you can just do da 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 back. Just so, just two side and side singles. Yeah, so you can modify this. And I think that's it. I've done lots of balances already.
But you know what? We don't get to do Petite Allegro, so do it now. Other side. <laughs> Good guys. When you're finding that balance in second and it starts to feel tiring, turn that turn out on to help stabilize yourself and hold yourself in place. Don't succumb to the exhaustion and round that thigh. One do. Okay. This one my brain feels turned on. Okay, we're gonna go. Fondue, uh, fondue coupe, tissu su, and then devote out to 90, and down, and down, 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 down. We're getting the tempo, and so as we're here, as we lower into our devote, I'm resisting with that heel, and I'm growing taller on my standing side. So we never just go down, we're always lifting up against it. Okay, uh, but that goes front, side, back, rond de jambe en l'air, to the back, and then reverse. Remember, every time you bend your knees is an opportunity to find that turn out more and then keep it as you straighten. So every time we fondue, we're tracking that knee side. Other side. These are not nice long hard bars, but there's no real center, so it's worth it. We got to do it somewhere. We're going to do petite bar, oh, on jambes on layer. Out, uh, brush side. Side, and round, and double, and tip, and side, and round, and double, and tip. Passe, 
Petit up and passe, seven and eight, double round, double round, double round, and bend. Out, single, double, bend. Out, single, double, bend. Passe knee side and heel forward. Du, 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 du. So it's just like Petit Fatma down here, but I own, so I only move my lower leg and this top part mm -hmm. of my leg stays stable. Or when you feel you're passe nicely and, and find that nice crease in the hips or not like that, going like that, my hip foot. And double pace side, double round, double round, double round and bend. Passe should really make you help you feel your turnout in those upper thighs. It's the best feeling ever. And then when you do your double round de jambe in all second, you feel more secure and held up there in that upper leg. Left side. your leg out to the side to feel that connection into the ground pushing down so that your hip is down before you've even started to lift it instead of just picking up right off the get-go down and then it's nice and under and everything's nice where it needs to be we're almost done there's a petit pot ma and a grand pot ma and then a couple center combos petit pot ma oh this is fun we're going. Just really simple, but we're going to turn away from the bar. Five, six, tendu, and wrap. Back, front, back, front. Change your weight. Two, three, four. Change your weight. Six, seven, five, one, two, three, four. Plie, brush, front. Tendu and fit. Back, front, back, front. Face the bar. Move away. We should finish back. Um, just be a back and forth. Okay? No brushing on the ground. Tendu and we'll finish on that side. So back, front, back, front. Face away. Face away. Plie, fuete, coupe, and front. And inside. And inside. So every time we turn, we have to check our turn out. The hard one is when we go on day dawn. I don't get to just fold in. I have to turn that bottom heel before I've even started moving. Okay, so we're maintaining that integrity. So just really nice and clean, making sure that every time we turn, 
we have that nice new front that we're facing, and both legs are really turned out to that front. And only moving that bottom leg on petit bas mom. the fuete, if I'm right from the back, everything flips right in front of my nose, or if it's the other way, go right behind my head, yeah? So it's like you've put your foot in a hole in the wall, and you turn away from it, your foot doesn't move, but your back moves to find the new, the new plane of squareness, yeah? So I face the new wall, 180 flip. Ramba mon. Oh, nice. Gramba ma tandu. Gramba ma tandu. Same to this side. That was no change at first. And back. And back. Devil pay side. Pull, pull, and down. Gramba ma tandu. Gramba ma tandu. No change. Changing now. And a one, and two, and three, and four, and hold. Six. Tandu and side, you don't just pick it up. It goes through sous le coup de pied. It goes through a turned out passe, and then that heel is front. Okay, so really don't care to see that. But nice and turned out. Take a drink of water, take a minute. Okay, we're gonna do a lot of promenades. So we're gonna start in quasi, and we're gonna wrap to coupe and promenade around. Three and four. Passe. Five. Three, six. Seven and eight. Double pay one and two. Promenade quasi. I pass a three, four. Brush the airbus quasi. Nice turned out. First position. Tandu and in. So one promenade this way. Do the coup de pied. Bring it to passe. Heel forward, knee back. Promenade around, double pay front to quasi, FSA, brush back, tandy fifth, okay? And then we'll regroup and think about going to another side. See how we do.
Let's do it all sarcophagal. Um, but we won't do arabesque today. <laughs> okay, so the same wrap, the same posse, and then to ecarte front, to ecarte back, tondi with it. One more time. Um, when you promenade, fight the urge to look like an earthquake is happening and stay above it. So it's like, sometimes I like to think, you've got your tutu on, whatever your gender is, and everything below is not affecting the top. So it could be like, I'm just sipping tea, turning around like this. No one knows I'm only on one leg and only able to move my heel. Yeah, so that's how seamless it has to be and lifted to control that, those adjustments so that I don't see it in your upper body or that I don't see it in my upper body. Since I can't even see you guys. Awesome. Maybe next time we'll do on day down promenades and the arabesque. Okay. Just simple tondu. This music gives me a stomach ache. Okay. Tondu front and in, inside leg. Two to the side changing. Uh, Developé to you know, like a low 45, and in, two, in, front, two, back, two, side, and out, and in, jeté, 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 relevé, jeté, 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 relevé. Nice and simple. I like to do a lot of tondus just facing front off of the bar so that I can feel that squareness that I worked on. Um, that I don't lose, this is coming forward, my back hip is pushing forward, and my front hip is lifting up to make this difficult fifth position feel kind of like home, yeah, like not difficult, okay? So it's, instead of what we want to do, this back hip is pushing forward, and this front hip is lifting up, and we're kind of totally standing normal even though we're in this puzzle piece down there. Okay, tandus. Doing more tondus. <laughs> okay, this is going from quasi to effacé now. And one, and two, and three. So it's like one in quasi, one in enfance, one in effacé, tondu écarté backside. Then in uh, back leg was the same coming around. Quasi, enfance, effacé. Ecarte front. And then just four. One, two, three, big four. Passe, 
just on flat, seven and eight, and one and two and three, three and four, coming around, six, seven and eight, and one, two, three, big balance in fourth position, passe on flat or releve, whatever you want, yeah. Um, when we do the uh, coming from the back, don't turn your upper body until you turn the standing heel of that foot. So I go one in croise, one in en face, one in en face, okay? So that we keep that purity and this integrity. There's nothing else to work on now, yeah? So it's like all this fun stuff we can really get amazing at. Standing leg turning out. sure if you're able to do pirouettes at home so I tried to be like oh just balance but actually that's really hard so I would just stay on flat or do a single if you're on like a hardwood maybe you can do a single um cool I like that feeling with the bottom foot because it kicks on that turnout again we're going to do like a prep for an arabesque turn but then promenade this is fun five six seven and eight. One and two and three to fourth arabesque. My standing heel is four. Then coming out back around to passe to fifth position with the upper, with the arm. Seven, eight. Arabesque. One, two, three, four. What did I do after that? Two times and then the other side. And then passe, plie, tendu, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 yeah. One, two, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, let's try that. I think we should have enough space. It doesn't really move. And this is. I gotta redeem myself and do it again. You don't need to be that close to me while I do that. Let's try one more time. Um, hopefully this makes us feel like we're having the action of turning and all of the important parts that you need to turn on to turn, but we don't have the space to turn, so.
we're, we're making the most with what we have. first time I taught that, I didn't teach it very well, but it goes from that fourth to arabesque to passe, and then like to arabesque again, like we're going back into the turn, okay? Um, now, let's just do little jumps and call it a day. Okay, we're gonna do first and two and three and four releve, ho, ho, plie, repeat. And ho, 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 plie, and second, two, three, four, push down. Releve, six, seven, plie, repeat, push down. And fifth, two, three, four, echappe, echappe. And fifth, two, three, four, echappe, echappe. Um, four sets, yeah? So this isn't for beauty or anything. This is for strength and stamina. I mean, we can do it all at the same time, but if we were to make one focus, that's the purpose of this. Okay, thanks for joining me again, guys. Stay safe out there, wash your hands, and I'll see you.